Okay, at the big media launch for the new heavy-duty Silverado, somewhere by a mountain in Oregon. So we're going to be driving both these, pulling trailers, doing all the fun stuff I want. But this new truck for 2020, it's bigger, it's longer, it's taller, it's wider. It's got that big crew cab, and it's even got a longer short bed, which they call the standard bed now. It's close to 6 foot 10 inches. So it's up there. But it's got more towing capacity, which is so awesome. This this in a dually and the heavy duty 3500 goes all the way to 35,500. And all the duallys in a diesel will go at least to 30,000 pounds of trader. That's a lot of choices. So come see what it's like driving these new heavy duties in the mountains pulling a trailer. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer and everybody uses a short bed that's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed so protect that window okay now, you are i'm dickum i think i'm the engineer responsible for the uh, camera system on the heavy duty cool now I, I know last year they had one trader plug on the half tons and now i see that there's two cords back there now yes uh so that's and i know we can see inside the camera outside the camera mm -hmm. and you and, can see through the trailer oh yeah i mean that's that's got to be the coolest thing on earth can do the preview by hitting that button and okay. it just gives you a preview of what the rear trailer camera yeah. is looking at so when that's when you're happy with your uh, connection you can go and see what the inside trailer looks like and oh cool there's three cement barriers in there that's awesome i could watch my horses bite each other and exactly. all that stuff that, and the kids oh that's cool and if you're happy with that you can set up the transparent trailer Oh wow, look at that. And that's you just look the, right through it. So it's already calibrated and it's giving you the preview. So once you're okay with that, you can, and you're ready to go, you can hit the launch camera app and it'll oh. give you that uh, view, which is basically your uh, starting position. Okay. So what it needs to know is since we, the, um, you just started off, it does not know the trailer art articulation angle, which is b between the trailer and the vehicle uh -huh. until you drive forward for a few hundred feet oh. once it learns that it'll flip it to the transparent trailer okay cool let me get out here and straighten this trailer out so we can identify what I'm doing so as you're turning it's gonna it's still picking it up and once you go straight oh, it gives wow. you the biasing view well look at that and see that's why I've got my it's, it showed me the right side of the trailer and then I'll straighten up so well, come on, it's not centering. And there you go. Oh, there you go. Look at that. I can see the trees and the mountains behind me. That is so cool. I noticed between this view and just the rear camera view, this gives you a little more side view. Yes. And that's important because that's where people sneak up on you is come along the side, just like the side of the truck. They sneak up on you there. Now, if I turn my, here's my left blinker. Look at that. It shows all that view on the side of the trailer. And then the right side shows me all that on the side of the trailer. That is remarkable. Man, I love this. And just let's see, the rear. this here is inside the camera? No, that's oh, the trailer. That's, that's so, the trailer. So if I want to go inside, yep, you I push right that button. button. Oh, man, it's awesome. And yeah. it's that button right there. Yep. And then this just shows me the hitch. That's too cool. And then this is the, Carbon shows bed. me the bed. And then where does it show me? Let's see what we just did. There is the clear view. It's so awesome. See the mountains back there. And then, of course, I can do the blinker thing. That's so cool. That's left. That's right. I love that because that will save lives. You can see those guys right beside the trailer. Exactly. You know? That is so good. And what are the tricks does this do? So, and then this one here gives you, basically, if you want it, all three views at the same time. You uh -huh. can see the side with the picture in picture. And it just cycles through. And if you hit it again, it gives you the two 
side cameras looking back at the trailer. Now if you were to turn right, it will give you a 40-60 biased view and then an 80-20 as the articulation angle uh, grows. So that's your 40-60. I don't and if need you to turn the blinker on to do nope. that? Nope. And if okay. you turn even more, it gives you more of a view. So you only did one. So if you turn again, so that's 40-60. If you increase your angle, there you go and you wow. get the 80-20. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. I can see the back of the trailer, the axles. I can see if I'm jumping the curb. Exactly. That is so cool because, you know, I use a spotter mirror. Sometimes I use two spotter mirrors on each side so I can see where my trailer tires are turning the corner As you beside seeing out, the trailer. And then it gives you the 50-50 view. Oh, that is good. That'll see some trailer tires. And, you know, and you, and you, if you take a CDL test, you know, you hit that curb once or hit the cross the line once, you're disqualified. You got to take exactly. it again. So, man, I, what if they let you take all this stuff down there because you can do everything with this. Do my CDL test again for the fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last view is just behind the trailer directly. If you hit the button again, okay, and you get the rear oh, trailer yeah. view. I love so. that. You know, I back in a lot of hotels that way. I'd see yeah. where the canopy is and all that. I love that. Exactly. That is so good. That is such a big safety feature. And GM has come a long ways in really recognizing all the importance of trailers. And I like that. I mean, the labels in the doors and all the different things. And it, it really, I think. Uh, is a great way to manage that big freaking trailer back there because they're getting bigger like the trucks are getting more powerful well, the idea with all the cameras to make it feel small like you're driving a bolt <laughs> yeah well, well yeah and then, you know this is this is a big truck it's bigger than it was bigger cab longer wider i mean if you want to manage all that you got to be able to do it i love it well thanks i appreciate that oh. i got it from the expert this is your field you're welcome anytime <laughs> i'm glad you enjoyed it yes <laughs> Okay, here's the new engine, the 6.6 .6 liter gas engine. This is 401 horsepower, 464 pound-feet of torque. It's a 10 to 1 compression, push rod design, and it is direct injection. This replaces the 6 liter. It's been a good dependable engine, but it's just not big enough. You know, and the competition is getting pretty big and tight on these gas engines and these heavy-duty trucks. So this is the replacement, the 6.6. .6. So we'll see how it does, but uh, we're back in the saddle again with a bigger motor. And here we are with that same transmission that was used with the 6-liter gas engine. This is the 6L90. Now, yes, we all were hoping to have a 10-speed in here, but what's, what you don't want to replace everything in one year. You know, you got to be make sure everything's dependable. This is a very dependable transmission that's been around forever. And I've seen about six speed is when you're grade shifting tow haul and you actually have higher PM per, per gear, which gives you a little bit of tow haul mode. So there's nothing wrong with the six speed and it's very dependable. And that's why it's still here. We'll see when the 10 speed makes it to the gas engine. Here's the big powerhouse, the 6.6 .6 diesel engine. And it's still 445 horsepower, 910 pound feet of torque. And it's a 16 to 1. <clears throat> it's amazing. This same power, same torque and horsepower is now jumped up. So 12,500 more trailer went from around 23,000 all the way up to 35,500. That blows my mind. But it's not just you know about the engine, but you know you got the four extra gears and that 10-speed Allison now, which is the big help, which means all 10 gears are closer together, holding that power band between gears better. And you know it's all about the cooling and and you know power. You got bigger, thicker frames. You got high-strength steel. You got the big 32-inch fan. You've got all kinds of crazy stuff on this to be able to handle the heat, uh, still using that hood scoop. And this, you know, it's, it's been a dependable engine. So, you know, we're going to take this out on the Ike Gauntlet when we get it home. We'll pet with, you know, with TFL, and I'll be pulling all over the place and just see how well it does. Okay, here's what we've been waiting for, this Allison 10-speed, the 10L1000. And uh, it's amazing because, you know, the big uh, Allison industry for the bigger, bigger trucks, they still use six speeds. Uh, the one that International now makes, uh, which is similar to the uh, Silverado 4500, still uses a six-speed, and I think the 4500 will use a six-speed. And so this may be the only truck out there from the Allison lineup that is 10-speed. 
And that is so cool. It's got a chain driven PTO. It's a little easier to attach accessories to it. So it's an improvement. We'll see what kind of great. Uh, here's the toys, the big traders with the 35,000 and like 32,000 pound traders we're going to try out. Yes, now here's the heavy duty up on its side so you can see the frame really and chassis. You see how much heavy duty the uh, over crossbars are. Now look at that big piece. That actually just holds a depth tank. Great big massive chunk of metal. Everything under here is, you know, super heavy duty just so it can use that power. Yeah, shadows all over the place. I'm fine, oh. Mr. Truck. I'm in your way. Then there's all kinds of shadows so, over there. There's a real tall that. shadow. Look sorry at that tall that. shadow. Oh, it's Big Tex, Andre. Oh, How much do we love Big Tex? We love Big Tex. We love Big Tex. Get in my film one more time, Andre, and I'm going to have to hurt you. One more time. There you are. <laughs> Just because you got a CDL doesn't mean you can touch my trailer. Get away from it. Size of a trader, 35,500. We've got three inch balls, the big balls like they use in Australia. That looks like a BMW coupler, is it? Or not BMW, um, what's the name of that company that makes <sighs> Bulldog? Is that a Bulldog coupler? Do you know? I don't know. Because it's got that little handover like their MX is. You have to ask, uh, it looks like an Mr. MX. Big Tex. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Where's Big Tex height? We're, we're oh. ready to ready. After you're all smiling, because I can get to my tools. So cool. I can actually reach my toolbox now. I love that step. My favorite step is this bumper one. It's gotten bigger for 2020. But look at that, man. I can use this with a trailer on. That's the problem with most of these tailgate things they have. You can't use them with a trailer. Good job, GM. All right. Well, these are 14,000? Yeah. Is there a few of just the ball? Pardon? Is there a few of just the ball? Yeah, there is a camera in there. Yeah, get that one to point straight down. That's a cool one. You gotta get used to it. In some trucks, it's really nice in it. Yeah. Yeah, there's some of them really foggy looking. You gotta have really you good quality. The other ones go Whoa, he went too far. Oh, forward, he went too forward. far twice. Kick some mat. What'd you say? <laughs> takes, takes a lot of mass. Cool. Well, I was glad to see that the rear leaf springs are still asymmetrical, so this is not going to squat as much as some of the other brands, which is really good. They've been had that for quite a few years now. And I'm glad they still have it. We don't want a squatty potty truck and trailer. Now this one. Um, where's the sticker that shows the payload? What so GM is, um, is because this is a heavy duty 2500. So you can go with or without weight distributing. Uh, now they are putting weight distributing on the cargo traders because you could have some side wind and that would also give you some sway control having the spring arms on a weight distributing hitch. But we just got flatbeds here with the skid loader on it. So we don't need to put weight distributing and we're not required by GM. This is too cool. This wide heavy duty has a 6.6 .6 gas engine. We're getting ready to take it for a spin. See how it runs. Yeah. Well, are you excited, Andre? Old bullseye! You get to drive with the trailer now in the big heavy duty 2500. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a 6.6 .6 liter gas V8. Oh wow! Of course, I'm excited. This is the first time. I know, the first time ever. 